you can gently close your eyes. and start connecting with your breath. Meaning just observe how your breath is right now. If it's fast or slow, deep or shallow, without trying to change it, without judging it, if it's good or bad. You're just the observer right now. We're slowly going to lengthen the breath together. We're going to inhale on four and exhale on five. I'm going to count for you. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One more time. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Five. Continue with your breath. And first we're going to connect with your root chakra. The root chakra is located at the bottom of your spine. and continues into your legs and your feet. It's the chakra that connects you with Mother Earth, the chakra that grounds you, that gives you stability and safety. You're going to visualize a beautiful, warm, red color in that area of your body with every inhale. See how the red light expands in your root chakra at the bottom of your spine, into your legs, into your feet. If you find it difficult to see this red light, just do your best and don't judge yourself. Now this red light becomes orange in your sacral chakra in your lower belly, just below your belly button, you visualize an orange light expand with every inhale in your lower belly. This is where we store emotional experiences, traumas, 
creativity, passion. Whenever you notice you drift off, just come back to this orange light in your lower belly. Slowly, this orange light becomes yellow in your solar plexus, in your rib cage. This is the chakra for being your best self, for shining your light, for setting boundaries and protecting your energy. With every inhale, you expand your yellow light in your solar plexus, your internal sun. Slowly, this yellow light becomes green in your heart chakra. Your arms and your hands are extension of your heart. So with every inhale, visualize this green light. Expand into your arms and into your hands. This is the chakra for love and self-love for balancing the doing and the being, for balancing the giving and the receiving. Maybe you notice a difference in how easy or difficult it is to visualize the green light in your left arm or in your right arm. Don't judge it, just observe. Your right side is your giving side. Your left side is your receiving side. Whenever you get lost, come back to visualizing this green light in your heart center. Slowly this green light becomes a light blue light in your throat. Your energy center for speaking up for yourself, for being authentically you, for sharing your message. With every inhale you expand this light blue light in your throat, in your jaw, clearing any blocks. And slowly this light blue light becomes a beautiful blue on your forehead in your third eye chakra. With every inhale, you expand your blue light in your head. This is the chakra for clarity and intuition and inward reflection. And slowly this blue light becomes purple on your crown, 
the top of your head. This is the chakra where you can divide, where you connect yourself with your divine source, with your higher self, with your guidance from spirit. With every inhale, you visualize a bigger purple light at the top of your head. Today we're focusing on self-love, so we're going to go back to the heart center with your inner eye. Observe first how you're feeling in your heart right now. without judging if it's good or bad. Just observe. And you're going to slowly visualize a light pink color in your heart space. And with every inhale, this light pink gets bigger. Slowly look, you fill up your entire chest. Slowly the light pink light goes into your arms and your hands. Slowly this light pink light goes up into your throat and down into your solar plexus. And up into your third eye. And down into your sacral chakra. And up to your crown chakra and down to your root chakra. With every inhale, this beautiful pink slowly fills up your entire body from the top of your head to your toes You see yourself in this beautiful pink light, radiating, vibrating with love. Feeling this warmth that comes from within, from your own heart space. And it doesn't matter what's going on in the outside world. Who gives you love? Who doesn't give you love? What matters is that you know that you can cultivate this love inside of you for yourself at any given moment. You can fill yourself up with your own love anytime. You can do this visualization anytime you're feeling lonely or lost. You can cultivate this love from your heart space and fill your entire body up with this light and this love for yourself.
slowly you can release the visualization start taking some deeper breath come back into your body Slowly wiggle your toes and your fingers. You can do any movement that feels good for you right now. If you want to stretch, shake, lift your shoulders, whatever feels good. Whenever you are ready, you can slowly open your eyes. And take your journal. And the first thing you're going to write down right now is how am I feeling right now? And the important thing about journaling is that you don't overthink it, that you don't try to write the perfect thing. Just write whatever comes to mind right now. If you're tempted to just write, I'm feeling good, and that's it, I challenge you to describe that feeling a little more. Feeling good can mean so many things, so try to be specific. The next question I want you to ask yourself and journal about is where in my body was I observing tension or pressure? Where in my body was I observing tension or pressure? Maybe you had a difficult time visualizing a certain color or you were feeling very dark or heavy, just pinpoint pinpoint that, describe what area of your body felt difficult. And wherever it felt difficult for you in the meditation is usually a reflection of what else is going on in your life. So for example, if it was hard for you to visualize the blue in your third eye chakra, it's probably because you have a lot of thoughts going on, you're overthinking things. Um, you have a lot of energy in your head and therefore there is no clarity. So your body talks to you all the time. The next question for you is which chakra or which part of the body was easiest for you to visualize? Where was it easy for you to see the light or see the color in your body? And that's a sign for alignment.
Even if you don't remember which chakra was for which area of your life, it doesn't matter. You can go back. And then learn more about this specific chakra if you want to learn more. Or you can just acknowledge it and see how it changes as you continue to meditate with your chakras. The next journaling question for you is, what is my main takeaway from today's meditation class? What have you learned in this meditation? What breakthrough or light bulb has gone off? Don't worry if you don't write an entire page about this. Be loving with yourself and know that if this is new to you, if you're new to journaling, it may be difficult that it just flows. So don't judge it and just let everything come out that comes out and know that the more you do this, the easier it will become. And the last question for today for your journaling exercise is what do I need to do to commit to a regular meditation and journaling practice? What do I need to do to commit to a regular meditation and journaling practice? Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were able to disconnect and slow down and yeah, really just connect with your body a little better and understand where are there certain things going on? Where does it feel difficult? Where was it easy? And use your body as an indicator for where you can work on things in your life. Okay. So what I wanted to share with you today is the official announcement of Glow Life Meditation Studio, which is an online meditation studio that I don't think exists ever in the world because I was doing my research, trying to find out where you can join an online live meditation class. And I could only find tons of websites where you can sign up and like do your meditations at your own pace. But I really wanted to create something where we can get together as a group and meditate at the same time because this beautiful energy that we've had right now together, although we're all in different places, all on different computers and phones across the world, it's it's something very unique and special. So that's why we're doing this Glow Life Meditation Studio online from this month on. And how this works is that we have an online meditation class a month just like we have now, but it's going to be one hour. We're going to have a private Facebook community as well, where you can connect with other people, find people from your city or your country. You can even connect with each other, have phone calls, meditate together, encourage each other, share resources that you found about meditation and living this better glowing life. And the replays are going to be available too. So if at some point you cannot join the class live, you can always listen to the replay and do it at your own convenience. And even, you know, if you feel like we will have a different topic every month, and if one of the topics really resonates with you and you notice that you want to work more on that specific topic, then you can go back to those meditations and listen to them over and over just to heal some of the things and encourage or strengthen specific chakras. 
So how you can join the Glow Life Meditation Studio is in a couple of different ways. First of all, we have a monthly membership. So basically you show up once a month live or not live, whatever your schedule allows. For the monthly membership, we're going to do a one hour online meditation and journaling class, just like we did now, just one hour. And every month will be a different topic. Topics will include more self-love, um, forgiveness, relationships, self-care, um, healing past traumas, being your best self. So all of these different, getting clarity, all of these different topics, we're going to focus on one topic at a time or one topic a month. Then we'll have the private Facebook community, which I just shared before, and you can watch the replays anytime um, to do it over or if you missed the live class. This membership is $37 a month. This meditation studio or this membership is for you if you want to increase your intuition and trust yourself more. If you're struggling with meditation, or if you're new to meditation, you want to kind of have this global support community that motivates you because that was something that was really hard for me in the beginning to, to stay motivated and keep going. So we're going to have this support, this accountability that you um, work on yourself and start meditating regularly. If you're feeling like you're struggling with overwhelm, I highly recommend you change something because you know overwhelm is a choice and you can just just decide to stop the overwhelm as well. Of course, it doesn't happen overnight, but it's something you can work on. And you have to be ready to make the change. Let's be honest. If you're not ready to really dive deep and, and work on this stuff, it's not going to work for you anyway. So you have to be really ready to do the work if you're feeling out of balance and if you want to feel at peace with yourself and ready to do the work you know then this is for you and if you feel like you're often confused you don't really have clarity about where you want to go with your life the things you want to do even yeah the kind of life you want to live if you're lacking direction and really want to figure this out then this classes can help you so we have this online community on facebook where you can connect with everyone from around the world i'll be sharing regular articles and things and inspiration motivation that i encounter along the way too because there is so much information out there about meditation about the chakras about energy about journaling all these things that i'll be sharing with you and i think the more you know and actually understand how meditation works and how it can change your life, the more you're going to be dedicated to the practice because you actually understand it's not just, you know, sitting still and breathing. It actually changes things in the brain and in your body and your physical body, not just, you know, in the spiritual body. So the community is really powerful. Probably things that may come up for you are little voices in your head that's maybe like, Oh, I don't really need this. I know I should be meditating. You know, I know I should be doing this. I know from tomorrow on, I'm going to take the time for me. And trust me, you know, it may work, but mostly it's really hard to find that time if you're not in the habit yet. So it's really great to trust your gut and know that there will never be a right time. And if you haven't done it so far, what got you here won't get you there. If you're here now and you've been wanting to meditate for a long time, you haven't done it, continuing the way you're living your life is not going to get you to meditate, right? So what got you here won't get you there. If you want to change something, you have to take action. Know that the life you're living today builds the foundation for the life you want to live in the future. So if you want to have more bliss, if you want to have more balance, if you want to have less stress and less overwhelm in your life, change starts now. And it doesn't mean that you start meditating now and you're going to feel blissful and perfect, perfectly balanced from now on, but you have to start now to build the future of your life, to build the foundation for this life. Okay. Would love to see you inside the meditation membership and meditate with you every month. Thank you for showing up for you. Thank you for taking this time to meditate with me and to do something for yourself. Hopefully you can sleep well and I'll talk to you soon.